The FX spy drama The Americans follows two KGB agents living undercover in Washington, D.C. in the early 80s. And our next guest is one of the stars of the show, and he's here to give us the inside scoop on all the excitement happening this season. Costa Ronan, welcome to Arise 360. Thank you so much. I'm excited to be here, guys. Great to see you, and great to see you back with the season three. Indeed. For those who aren't familiar with the show, give us a little bit of info about the storyline. It follows these two KGB agents. Agent right. during the Cold War, living undercover as husband and wife. Indeed. With the family, they've got a daughter and a son as well. It takes us back about 30 years into the 80s. And the family doesn't know, by the way. Like, the daughter and son don't know. Not yet. Yes. Mm. Not yet. Not, Not yet. yet. But maybe later on in the season, as <laughs> I was saying. Okay. Right. Well, we have a clip. Can we take a look and then discuss Absolutely. more? Absolutely. All right. I don't have anything for you. That's disappointing. Look, if there was something to know, I would have found it out. I can't get anything. I think there's something to get. Yeah? What's more likely? Is it either being a double agent or you trying to set me up? You're still in love with her. I can't help you. Wait. You love her? I want to save her. You love her, too. I want to make it right. This defector is our only lever. Believe me or don't believe me. But how much time does Nina have? Oh, everybody oh. is in love. The Everyone drama loves unfolds, Nina. right? <laughs> but who will get there? Right. No. Well, tell us a little bit more about your character because he's a GKB agent, but he's also the son of a party member, and he'll stop at nothing to advance his career. Yeah, Oleg. Right. Right. Well, look, it, the, the show takes us back 30 years mm -hmm. into the past, into yeah. the 1980s, into the peak of the Cold War when the two superpowers kind of held the fate of the world in their hands and, and anything yeah. could have happened and everybody mm -hmm. lived in that fear that anything can happen any minute. Yeah. And um, my character Oleg Burov comes in uh, from Moscow. He's coming from nomenclatura, one of the kind of upper middle class, upper class, very worldly, very well educated kind of Thinks he knows Father it all. Father yes. in a very high place. Absolutely. How yeah. else you so get to DC, he's right? He's privileged, <laughs> isn't he? Very much so. Very much so. And he gets to DC, and he wants to make it his own way. He's not there because of his father, even though that's what it looks like in the beginning of last season, season mm -hmm. two. He is there to make his own mark. He is there to stand on his own feet, and he's got a lot to prove and to make sure that he is taken as his own man, and he's got a much bigger picture in mind too. Yeah, and he won't let anything stop him. Now, is Oleg a, a character that you personally can relate to? Is that how you've been with your career as an actor? Like, you're not going to let anyone get in your way? I don't think you can, as an actor, <laughs> not no. let anything <laughs> or anybody kind of get in your way. way. You kind of have to just, agent. You have to just let go and, and, mm -hmm. and, and you know, just give it everything you, you have, I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's probably what me, personally, as an artist, and, and Oleg have in common. Yeah. You yeah. know, you, 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 you feel that you're part of something bigger and you just have to give everything you got and, and, and just work at it day after day after day after day and then just mm -hmm. see those little seeds blossom. And yeah. then you end up on a great show like this. Yeah. But you were also born in Russia before moving yes, to New Zealand. So did that play a part in you wanting to do this part and it being appealing to you? Uh, yeah, well, there was Russia, New Zealand, Australia and kind of background about way around the block to <laughs> LA and New York. Yeah, and, and that's something, again, that, that me and Oleg have in common, is mm -hmm. that, that sort of education and the worldly perspective. Yeah. yeah. Now, a lot of your audience, half of your audience is watching the untraditional way, right? Mm -hmm. Like DVR right. And, and online as well. So what does that say about, you know, the future of television and also your audience, the Americans' audience? That's... That's a great question. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. You know, yeah. the technology changes so quickly. And, you know, we, I mean, I, I still get, get fascinated by the idea of television. It's yeah. amazing that you and I are having this conversation right now and somebody on the other side of the world is, is seeing it real time. Yeah. It, it's amazing. And we kind of take a lot of it for granted, but 
it's amazing. Yeah. And, and going Probably into the future. Probably a lot of younger um, viewers as well, since so many are turning to technology. Right. To, mm -hmm. Well, know, everybody's watching it on, to watch. you know, exactly. in Subway, on a, on yeah. a phone, or a PDA, or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Now, we watch the Americas, but we also have to talk about another show you're in, Extant, with right. Halle Berry. Yeah. Woo! Okay, what is it like to work with her? I and never got, Steven Spielberg as well. I, right? I never got to question. work with Haley. Uh, uh, are you serious? Why not? Um, I, great question. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> but it was a terrific, terrific experience working with those guys. And Steven it's, Spielberg it's, it's, you worked with? Not personally, okay, no. It, okay. it's, it's his baby. But you know what? Yeah. When you get a show that's got both Steven Spielberg and, and Haley Berry and those names attached to it, I mean, yeah. you know you're in for a treat. And how often do you get to see Haley Berry in a TV show? Right. No, that was you the first time. never right. get that. Yeah. So I'm really excited for the fans of the show and really excited for, for where that show, I think it's... It's it, been it renewed, got, yeah, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Are, really you, are we going to see you back on the second season? My character think? died. So unless oh, they... Died. But it's oh. Unless oh. they... Exactly. And unless they invent life. something to bring <laughs> you back, who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Something they found in outer space, they'll use that on hey, you to bring you back. That's the show, right? And everyone else comes back in those premonitions, so why not? I'm just saying. Write him hey. in. I got you Listen back. To the man right I there. got you back. <laughs> you also have a movie coming out as well. You're in an indie movie called The Midnighters. Midnighters. Can you tell yeah. us uh, quickly about that one? That is uh, uh, going to be a fantastic film. Yeah. When it comes out. Yeah. It's it's it, a lot of people worked very very hard to make that film happen, and it's about uh, a bank robbery. Mm -hmm. We all come together to. It, it, I don't want to give out too much away because it's a film. With a TV series, it's a lot easier. With a yeah. film, no, but it's going to be a terrific film. Oh, you're a bad guy. I was going to say, you're a bad guy or a good guy? Hey, I, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm a guy. I'm a guy. Oh, you're just a guy. How can you have a bad guy rob a bank, really? You know, it's Easily. a guy. No, no, no. Yeah, no. That's Every, what happens like, everybody, it? everybody has got a good side and a bad side. There's a reason why okay. they do certain things. You okay. know, and and it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's not just about the bank robbery. It's it's about family. It's about friendship. It's about something that all of us can relate to. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm really excited to see the final product. I have not seen it. And oh, you haven't I even seen wait. it yet. It's going to make us oh, oh, wait. All right. Well, in the meantime, I guess we'll just have to watch you every Wednesday night at 10 p.m. on FX and the Americans. Hope you love it. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much thank for joining us. Thank you for having this. me, guys. Thank All you right. so much. Loved it. <laughs> and we'll be right back with more 360.